Welcome back to Clumsy Dog. For tonight, we're going to be doing buffalo wings. We got, uh, and we're also going to do some barbecue wings too. The kids don't much like the spicy stuff. Um, we're using our own honey buffalo. You get the link down, and our Zoomies rub. So you can learn about both down in the description, and I'll link to those videos down there so you can see how to do it. It's pretty easy. Dry the chicken, put the rub on it. We're going to be using uh, my pellet smoker. Uh, it has really good real estate on it for a bunch of wings and stuff like that. And also we're going to blister some uh, peppers and stuff for a different project. And that's really good for that too. Just because we can get really, really good stuff laid out on there, you know. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, wife is also making some tzatziki. Not really a dipping sauce, kind of a side. I mean, this is good. I mean, who doesn't like tzatziki? You? I don't know. I do. But uh, yeah, come along. Check it out. We're going to show you how it's done. We're gonna do these buffalo wings and uh, honestly regular barbecue wings. We're gonna be doing it at about 350 degrees on the pellet smoker. And the, uh, the FDA is terrible cooks. If you're doing wings, 165 is the safe temperature for chicken, right? So we're gonna go way past 165 because the FDA doesn't know what they're talking about. If you only go to 165 on wings because it's a dark meat, it's gonna be kind of chewy right so we're actually gonna blow right past that and go like 185 195 and then we'll have a very it'll, it'll just be better it'll just be better and we're already past the safe point I'm not saying undercooked chicken that would be stupid but definitely go over on wings all right we got them on there every 15 minutes we're gonna come back and we're gonna flip them until we get to about 185 190 degrees somewhere around there Alright, we're at the first 15 minute mark here, looking pretty good, come in here, I'm going to flip them, and any of them that look like they're cooking maybe a little too fast, we're going to move them to a colder spot, and vice versa. We're running 350 degrees, and every 15 minutes, like I said, we're gonna come over and flip them. So like this one here, this is running a little bit hot, so let's move that one out of that area. Like that, that looks good. That's a big piece, so that could go in there. I have to get spot for that. I know you can't smell it, but it is, it is heavenly to say the least. So, alright, another 15 minutes, we'll be back. It's, it's been another 15 minutes, it's time to flip them again. Whoa! Uh, 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 did, did I actually say it up the back of Mm-hmm. What's the button push? Yep. All right, this stage we're gonna start checking on temperature every time we open it up to flip. Just 
see where we're at. Do the bigger pieces. 189, 190, like that. Be really careful when you put your probe in that you don't hit a bone. If you hit a bone, it's going to be like 500 degrees, right? But the chicken won't actually be that hot. So, all right, I like it where we're at. So we're going to toss these in sauce and put them back on for a little bit longer. Good job, Daddy. Thank you. It has been one of the last 15 minutes uh, of it. It's time to dump, dump them in sauce. Yep. Gonna pull a couple of them off here. Um, we're going to dump some of them off. Sauce. What are they going to be for what's perfect grown-up? Is that spicy? Mm-hmm. Is it really? Yeah. It's our, it's our honey buffalo sauce. It's about really good. Well, thank you. Let me try saying that. Uh, did that record? Yeah, it's recording. Ammo. Oh, it's starting to get. So, uh, uh, we're done. You want your sauce ready, and you can buy buffalo sauce or make buffalo sauce. This is our, this is our sweet honey buffalo. Yeah, sweet honey buffalo. And you're, you're going to pour, pour a little, little bit on, but on them. But if you don't don't want all of them with all of them covered with buffalo sauce, just do half of them with buffalo sauce and half of them without buffalo sauce. Yep, that would do the trick for sure. Yeah. Oops. sauce tack up yeah and then we'll be good to bring them inside and start eating honestly this will take maybe five minutes my hey go get a go get something from mommy to put these my in. favorite part is my eating it <laughs> if you if you don't have uh, if you if you don't have what are those again uh, baking tins uh, uh, if, you, if you don't have brownie uh, brownie pans uh, 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 you, you could use pans or like um, glass containers. Just anything you have, even a bowl, right? But we're but today we're going to use one pan for each each batch. This pan is going to be for for play one and play one and for other one for the sauce ones. So we'll see you later. I love it. This is the best. What are you talking about? That's amazing. Now look, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button down there. It would really help us out. We really appreciate it. We're trying to get this channel going and uh, every subscription counts. So come along with us. I can't stand this anymore. I'm going to get into these honey buffalo. Mmm. I gotta cook that out of bed for eating crackers. No way, man. Because we took. Sorry, it's really good. Um, because we took the temperature 
way past the 165. I mean, not way past. We're like 175, 185, around there. Each one's different. They're all beautiful, unique snowflakes. But because we went over, the meat's not chewy. <coughs> Sorry. There's a bit of back heat on the uh, on that honey buffalo sauce. But, I mean, believe it or not, this is amazing. Mmm, perfect. 